And finally, and number seven, I'll conclude with this, and that is to remain steadfast upon the worship of Allah. Keep away from sins as much as you can. Because sins, they deter us, they keep us away from righteousness. The more you engage in sins, the more you do sins, the heart becomes black, it becomes heavy, and it dislikes good deeds. It'll start turning away from the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So keep away from sins as best as you can. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, اتَّقِ الْمَحَارِمْ تَكُنْ أَعْبَدَ النَّاسِ and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, avoid the sins and you will be the most righteous of mankind. Allahu Akbar, imagine this. You see, doing good deeds, it's easy. Everyone could do righteous deeds. You can pray voluntary prayers. You can give sadaqah to charities. Allahu Akbar, mashaAllah. Look at the world today in terms of charities and good deeds. So many organizations, so many people sharing links of charity. Or oh, donate here, donate we're feeding the poor, we're clothing the poor, we're building tents, we're doing, mashaAllah, this is fantastic, this is beautiful. We ask Allah Azza wa to bless the efforts. But the idea is, only a few will find it. Yani, yani, I'm saying you know, everyone can, can do these righteous deeds, but it's only the righteous believer that keeps away from sins. It's only the righteous. When the true righteous people are the people that keep away from sins, this is why Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, اِتَّقِ الْمَحَارِمْ تَكُنْ أَعْبَدَ النَّاسِ He said, avoid sins and you'll be the most righteous of the people. Allahu Akbar. So keep away from sins as best as you can. Especially after Ramadan. Sins could wipe away your good deeds. They could. There are certain sins that would wipe away and destroy your record of good deeds. That's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said, مَنْ جَاءَ بِالْحَسَنَةِ فَلَهُ عَشْرُ أَمْثَالِهَا The one who comes on the day of judgment with a good deed, Allah would multiply it for him ten times. Ibn Al-Qayyim Rahimahullah said, but the condition is you have to come with the sin, with the good deed. مَنْ جَاءَ بِالْحَسَنَةِ Whoever came on the day of judgment with a good deed. So the idea is you can lose it before the day of judgment. And in order to preserve your good deeds, you need to keep away from sins. Backbiting, it wipes away sins. Missing the obligatory prayers wipes away good deeds. Be careful. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said uh, that whoever misses salat al-asr, فَقَدْ حَبِطَ عَمَلُهُ Then his righteous deeds of that day will be destroyed, will be erased. His righteous deeds will be erased. The ulama rahimahumullah said this is not only limited to Salat al-Asr, rather it is extended to all the obligatory prayers. Missing the obligatory prayers and not praying them on time will result in good deeds being wiped away. So in order to remain steadfast upon the worship of Allah, keep away from sins altogether. And most importantly, ask Allah as we said to grant me firmness and steadfastness upon the deen of Allah.